When I was younger, I used to feel so different from my class. Even as like early as kindergarten, preschool, I was the only brown kid. I was the only brown kid and I was smart. My parents, um, they always wanted me to you know, read books. I, I learned how to write in cursive when I was in kindergarten. Everyone else was learning in third grade. I learned how to multiply in second grade when everyone else is learning how to add. But I hated, I hated being not normal. I hated not knowing things about like pop culture that other people knew. You know, there was one time that I will never forget. I remember my one of my classmates, he was like, uh, hey, do you remember what happened in that Skylanders episode? I mean, we were in like first grade. I, I don't, I never watched that. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, that was so cool. I never watched it. And I just hated not knowing about things that everyone else knew about. I hated that. My parents used to give me summer homework. And I was like, why do I have to do this? No one else does this. No one else has to be this smart. No one else is being pushed this much. I would just be so angry at my parents. You know, I want to watch YouTube. I want to learn about these like things about pop culture. I want to learn about music. You know, as I grew older, I'd be like, just go through my friend's playlist and just listen to it and like memorize the lyrics. I would go on YouTube, search um, popular raps, rap songs, you know? It was just like, I was never, I never had that just by myself. I always, my friends always had this new thing and I was just, why am I just different? Why am I just being pushed and being smart? And I just, I felt all the time, all the time. I was like convinced that my parents were wrong. Why can't I just be average? That's what I said every single day. Every single day. You know, as I got older, I asked for more and more things. You know, I wanted to be more and more. Um, or like, like what I wanted to be like. The way I wanted to be like my friends changed. Like as at first it was just watching the same shows. And then it became, you know, I want an iPhone. I want Snapchat. I need Instagram, TikTok. I need to play video games. I was just angry that my parents would just never understand. But these parents are my immigrant parents. By chance, they made it to the U.S. They could have been stuck in a third world country with dirt floors. But somehow, some way, fate destined them to be able to get to the U.S. And I'm over here complaining that they're pushing me. They were the top. They were, if they were... A tiny bit, they were a little bit less smart, they would never have made it. And I'm over here complaining because I want to play a video game. So for like a while, I just lived, you know, I tried to be average and I, I got that. You know, listening to Spotify all the time, Instagram, TikTok, buying, you know, I, it transformed from like video game. I was still playing video games, but transformed to just buying Jordans, Nike shoes, whatever it is. And finally, almost just last year, I realized everyone that I want to respect from was a lazy fat ass with no discipline. They're not people I want to be when I grow up. When I grow up, I look at them, what are they going to be? Nothing. They're going to be an average person. If I want to be an average person, I'm going to get that. And what's an average person in the future? When they're all grown, what are they? Nine to five? Come back home, smoke weed. I don't want to be playing video games when I'm a father. So, do what's good for you. Stop thinking about what everyone else thinks. Stop caring about all that. Do what's good for you. Stop coping by saying, yo, I want this too. I want, it kind of matters to me too. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. What really matters to you, that's what matters to you. Like everyone tells you this, you everyone tells you this, but you just don't understand. You don't, you don't get it. All your teachers, all your parents tell you, yeah, you don't need that to be cool. If you just actually tried implementing what they said into your life, you would understand. But you never did it because you never respected them. You never realized. But think about it. What about all the high level guys? Hundred thousand a month. That's what they're making. Hundreds of women. Incre incredible physique, 
You think they are sitting around lazy doing whatever everyone else is doing? How are they going to be top 1% if they're doing what everyone else is doing? Doing what the 99% is doing? It doesn't make any sense. You don't listen. Start listening to your parents, to your teachers. That's like one thing that actually changed for me when I decided to like improve myself, to develop myself. All this time, I was just, my parents are wrong. I know right. No, you don't. You're stupid. You have not done anything. When you make $100,000 a month, then you can have an opinion. When you have an incredible physique, then you can have an opinion. When you got 100 women, then you can have an opinion. You don't get an opinion. So many people think they know. You don't know. You do not know. Do what you know is right. Cut off all those things that you know are wrong. TikTok, Instagram, video games, YouTube even. Delete all that. You know it's not good for you. You know it's not helping you. How is it going to help you? If you do that for the next 10 years, how is that going to help you? Where are you going to be? You know it's not right. You know it's that's not what you're supposed to do. Do what you're supposed to do. And I'm talking not talking about what your addictions make you think you want. <sighs> I'm talking about going on video games so you can play with your friends so I can get that bond. So I can go on Instagram so I can reply to my friends. They're not your friends, bro. What you really want is to be a successful person. You can't be a successful person if you're doing things the way that you're doing them right now. And so many people, they're just like, oh, yeah, but right now, I'm a child, man. I, I, I can, it doesn't matter if I have fun right now. I can work later. No. No. You put in the work right now. Because 10 years in the future, it depends on what you are doing right now. You think you're going to quit later if you're doing it right now? It doesn't make any sense, bro. Like, get it in your head. You have to start now. It doesn't matter. You have to start now. So find who you are. Find the values for yourself. And live by those. Relentlessly. No coping. No saying, oh, but I feel like it. I know what you're thinking. Yo, that's so corny, man. There's no way this guy lives, a, get, lives like that. You don't get an opinion. Shut up. You don't get an opinion, bro. When you're rich, when you're successful, then you can tell me. But until then, you don't get an opinion. If you're lazy, if you're just sitting there undisciplined, I don't care if you have a good physique. If you're sitting there on video games, you have a fat mind. I don't care, bro. You haven't done anything for yourself. Building a physique isn't enough. Going to the gym is not enough. You know, most people think that your habits are like added, but the way I like to think about it is that they're multiplied. So it doesn't matter if you're doing a crazy good habit, like going to the gym, let's just say that's five points. And you think that video games is negative two points. Yeah, but it's okay because I'm doing, I'm weightlifting and then later I play video games, but it's okay because it cancels out and negative two is less than five. So I'm still doing good. No, it's not. It multiplies. If you have five multiplied by negative two, what is it? Negative 10. It's not okay to do a good thing and then do a bad thing. Cut off all the bad things. Go for the good things. Only relentlessly go for your values. Always live for yourself. Live for your... Stop living for your friends. Stop living for this other guy who you know you don't want to be in the future. You're not going to be successful if you actively want to be average. I actively wanted to be average. I wanted to be not as good. I wanted to be less smart. Genghis Khan wouldn't have 16 million descendants if he was playing video games because he felt like it. It doesn't matter. It does not matter if you're doing a good habit. If you're still doing a bad habit, it doesn't it just cancels out, man. It doesn't matter. Stop trying to be respected by people you don't even care about. Really think about it. Who is the people you want to respect? Who, who, who are the people you want to respect from? You don't care about any of them. None of them are valuable people. None of them are high value. So why are you pursuing them? It doesn't matter. Like, it really doesn't matter. All these things they think that matters, it doesn't matter. You don't need fresh shoes to be respected. You don't need the best caption. You don't need a, a thousand heart emojis on your Instagram post. <sighs> you 
You have to know your duty. You have to know your values. You have to know who you are. You have to stick to that every single day, every single morning. You have to wake up. Yeah, I'm going to do this. If it's, if it's not part of your values, if it's not what you want to do, that's not for me. That's not for me. That's it. That's how you have to live every single moment of your life. There's no excuses. There's no coping. Nothing like that. You're telling me right now. You look at me and saying, yeah, he doesn't know what he's talking about. He was never really popular. He was never really had that many good friends. He was never respected. I said, yes, I was. Yes, I was, bro. I thought for a long time that would make me feel fulfilled. It is not fulfilling to be respected by degenerates. It's not fulfilling to be respected by people who you don't want next to you in the future. Live for yourself because live, actually not even live for yourself. Live to be a good father. Like what kind of father would you want your son to have? Or what, what kind of person would you want your son to be? That's how you should live. That's how you should live, no excuses. How you live is how your son is gonna live. If you want your son to succeed, you have to succeed first. You have to know what your duty is. And you have to go for it relentlessly every day. That is the only way. That is the only way. Go out and conquer, guys. Go out and conquer.